Hello, my name is Gregory Ivo. I'm an intern working for Eclipse IoT, and I'm excited to show you my second project, Code-Free Smart Agriculture. Before we begin, I'd like to start with a quote. The world will need to produce 70% more food in 2050. Shrinking agriculture lands and the depletion of finite natural resources, the need to enhance farm yield has become critical. The practice of farming has been done for centuries and techniques have improved over the many generations that humans have lived on Earth. With currently 7 billion people on Earth and projected to grow to over 10 billion by the end of the century, there is clearly an increased need for food, which has created a strong demand for more farmland. The issue with more farmland is that creating it directly correlates with the destruction of natural developments and deforestation. Our traditional methods of farming simply do not scale, the larger a farm is, the harder it is to manage, and the more waste is created. By optimizing the yields of farms, we can produce more produce without having to destroy more natural land. Not only is it expensive to produce food, delivery and transportation of produce takes a huge environmental toll. We must figure out a way to move farming closer to cities where this food is actually needed. The solution. Being a farmer is just like managing a team. Your goal is to set the right conditions so that your plants can work. Ideally, we would just ask the plant what it needs and solve all of its needs. It would be so easy. But that's science fiction. And the best we can do is develop quantifiable and actionable metrics to determine the optimal condition a plant requires and therefore develop enclosures designed to mimic these conditions perfectly. To accomplish this, I've created a smart greenhouse. Here are its features. Firstly, the enclosure allows heat and humidity to stay inside the container. There is a DHT11, which can tell us the current temperature and humidity within the pot. At the top of the pot, we have a Wi-Fi enabled node MCU, which handles the sending of MQTT messages. We also have an HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor that can tell us the height of the plant. A photoresistor gives us approximation of how much light our plant is getting from the sun. And lastly, these two LEDs emulate a grow light attached to the pot. Fun fact, some plants can actually fully thrive off purely artificial light. To be a true IoT solution, we need some sort of telemetry system. Here is my no-code stack. I personally believe this is one of the fastest ways you can get up and running with Eclipse IoT projects. At the bottom of the diagram, we have IoT planters, which all communicate over MQTT to a mosquito broker, which is then monitored by Eclipse Cura. Eclipse Cura is an extendable IoT gateway that allows us to easily and visually define flows to route data. Cura will route data to two other services, these being Eclipse Kapua and Eclipse Streamsheets. Eclipse Streamsheets is an application that allows us to demonstrate data visually with a very intuitive, dynamic spreadsheet design. Eclipse Kapua is a tool which allows us to manage a fleet of edge devices. Kapua's features include commanding, storing, and integrating data into other web APIs. An industrialized setup, a farm can manage many different Kapua systems, allowing a farmer to view all the plant data from one singular endpoint. This solution scales very well, but it will also work in a smaller scale operation or even in your very own home. One low-powered machine can easily run both Cura and Streamsheets. Because of the code-free nature of this solution, I will show you how to get up and started from the ground up. I will be assuming that you've already have everything installed on your respective devices. Please feel free to pause this video right now and look at the repo for this project, follow the install instructions, and then come back so then you can follow along. 